check this out. She was trying to lay eggs or something. There's actually hundreds of these things. Look at that. All right, guys. Wish us luck, guys. This is a big, big pond. Oh my God. Let's head him up. Woo! Catch him all fishing with Zach. Look at this fish. Get him up. Today is the day, guys. We have a huge project. So check this out behind me. You guys know that there's been a little bit of a leak. Check this out. Beyond this, I just threw this here because we're going to use it in a minute. Look at this. See this water? All that water is leaking from this big pond, and it's not our fault. We did a pretty good job of sealing the pond, but we have some culprits. Check this out. Look, look straight down here. Down here, you might have to come a little bit to, to your right. Look in here. These guys have messed us up royally. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> look how destroyed this is. Look at this. This whole thing is ruined. I can rip up the entire pond. Goodbye. That's not good. So we had that little problem with our Placos. Placos are not the source of this problem, however. There was an opening created by our friend. This guy right here, this albino Paco. Now, this guy is absolutely beautiful and he's been doing so well. He opened up the pond like he's been literally shredding with all his power the little tiny pieces of the pond that were just hanging off a little tiny bit. So this guy did a lot of damage and the Placos helped him out and finished the job. This thing is literally such a beautiful fish. I just turned off the water. Look at this pocket. Get in there. Hey buddy. So friendly. I've pet him. He eats right out of my hand. Now I'm not going to feed him right now because I don't want to stress him out because we are going to redo this entire pond. We have to put a whole new pond liner. I had to buy one that's big enough to not separate it at the seams. Check it out. Uh oh, wait. This guy might have eggs. Hold on. Hold on, check, hold on. Come here. That Placo came right back here to this pot, which is weird. It's right here. See him? It's right here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Head over here. So, this thing is fat. Check this guy out. I think she was trying to lay eggs or something. Yeah, it's a female. See right here? That's an egg layer right there. She might have already laid eggs and that might be her little type of like her nesting area. Unfortunately, she's gonna lose, oh! She's gonna lose all of her eggs. Ah, okay, 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 okay. But we're gonna keep her to suck all the pond algae from this pond. Hi babies, just a temporary visitor. Just a temporary visitor. <laughs> I know, they're gonna be a little bit annoyed because not only do we have him, we have to get this pop out too, check this out. Come here, buddy. He's so friendly. Come on, just hop in here. Hop in. I'll put you right back home. All right. This is how friendly this fish is, look at it. Check that out. In and out, he knows the deal. Oh, hey, hold on. Tell me that wasn't the easiest Paku, <laughs> anything that's ever happened in the world. So he's gonna sit in here with our beautiful, beautiful koi, and they're just gonna chill out while we fix this pond. There's another Flaco in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is to the right. He's over here. Check this out. Here he goes. Come on. Uh-oh. Eyes. Uh-oh. Oh, there he is. It's a big one. It's a big one. There he is. Looks like a shark, doesn't he? Oh, God. I was close. No, not in the muck. He's going by you. No idea where he's at. He's straight down. He's straight below you. Got him. Oh, God. This is tough. Hold on. Got him. <laughs> this is our last one. Check this out. This is a big male. Big male. Now I want to show you guys the difference. See that? Uh oh, wait. Yeah, that's a male, that's poop. <laughs> Those are not eggs, that's poop, that's the difference. <laughs> but another big male, we're gonna keep them to suck all the algae from our pond, from our new pond. But for now, check them out. Look how beautiful this little, 
pond is right now. <laughs> Hi guys. And these koi are already eating out of my hands. We have a lot of work to do. What we gotta do now is drain the pond. It won't be too hard with a couple pumps. I'm gonna drop this bad boy in there. We're gonna plug this in. Not bad. That should pump out all the water in this pond in about an hour or less. It's 4,200 gallons per hour pump. I'm not exactly sure the dimensions of this pond, but it's gonna do the job sooner or later. All right, guys, now this is all draining. All the water from this big pond is draining out, but the other two ponds are still good holding our fish. We're gonna take off the first layer of wood from the top of this pond, put a pond liner in, throw the wood layer on top, and then take all of my giant fish that are over at my mother's and bring them over here into our pond. We're hard at work finding the screws that were already deep inside this wood, but we're starting to remove the top layer, but check this out. Our whole family of invasive cichlids are right here. So many of these guys, they're all hiding right now. But if you check this out, you give them a little push out, zoom into this. There's a fish right here. Look, see him? <laughs> Hello. There's actually hundreds of these things too. It's not just him. So check this out. Look, look at this. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, got rid of me eye. So look, this is either mom or dad. Mom or dad. Invasive species. Cichlid. Now these got this swam right up my pump. Uh-oh. Check this out. Look over here. Whoa. Sorry, buddy. Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look where he swam up my pump. Look, look, look down here. Look at all these guys. They're all cichlids, bluegill, stuff like that. Look at them all coming. Straight down. Look at them all. There's an insane amount of them that go on endlessly forever because we feed the fish back here. But check out in my net. Look at this. Look at all the babies that came out of just those two fish. Look at this. Zoom into that. Look how many of these little guys. Can you see that? That's crazy. That's crazy, right? Jumping all over the place. I'm going to try to slow one down for you. Zoom into this one little guy. Can you see that? Oh, gone. <laughs> but check this out. Get a nice good shot of how many of these cichlids there are in here. Because as many as you see here, there are about 500 more. I can guarantee you that. But they're going to feed a lot of the bass and stuff like that. They've done a lot of damage, but it is what it is. Not killing anything. I don't have to. Since they did come from this lake, they're going to stay in that lake. There's still actually a lot in here. See how many we got. Check this out. Look how many. Oh. Look at that. Again, they just keep coming over and over. Look at those little guys. Crazy, right? Yeah. Jumping in the grass. Get back in there. I'm trying to commit suicide, but there's endless. And that's why they're so invasive. These guys protect their young like peacock bass, these mine cichlids, and they're a really good source of protein. They're delicious to everything, including humans, I'm telling you. We'll do a catch and cook on those soon, the adult size of them. That's why they're all over the place down here in South Florida and around the world. We're done. Check it out, all the woods over there. It might not look like much. It might not look like much. But finding those screws were super tough. We're just gonna put the tarp right on top of it. It's not gonna matter in the least because this tarp is super, super durable. Check this stuff out. 25 by 20. So it should be just enough to completely cover this size pond without having any seams or any way for the Paku to tear it up, for the Plago to tear it up, for our giant catfish that we're putting in here to tear it up, or for the other fish that we're buying to tear this thing up. It's so heavy. Uh, uh. 25 by 20 guys. This is a big, big pond. Wish us luck. Oh my God. We did it. Some way. We have to staple the rest. But we're on our way. One step at a time. There's no need to rush. Remember that kids. At this point is when most people start getting delirious from heat stroke. But so you guys can see <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that is ridiculous, guys. What you're seeing, the low oxygen levels and the rise in temperature of the water is driving those fish to look for a different place to swim. And that's what they're doing right behind you. Check that out. Been out in the heat for so long, I became Batman. Now is the ultimate test. We have to fill this pond up before we seal the rest of the sides off with our staple gun. Yes! No leaks! Look at the water trickling! It's coming away! Fill up the pond! Just make sure that I don't have any staples or anything lying around. This is gonna take a couple minutes to fill up since we have a 5,000 gallon per hour pump powering this entire thing. Ah. And we're good, that should be enough to shield the larger fish from escaping and going back into this lake. We have enough water in here now to put in the first resident of this big old, giant, brand new, no hole having pond. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Uh oh. Don't want him to jump and hurt himself too bad. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, buddy. All right. I'm gonna show you off. I don't think I've ever held this fish. Not trying to hurt him. Just wanna show you off real quick, buddy. <laughs> and you come right around here to really be able to see him good. He's like, he's such, the colors on this fish are like no other. Like absolutely insane. Come on, buddy. Let me just hold you for a second. Just for a second. Just for a second, just for a second. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, 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 Relax, relax. Let's take a picture of you really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick, really quick. Oh my God. One picture, one picture. One picture, one picture, one picture, one picture. One, just one, just one, just one, just one. Just one? Just one, really quick, really quick, really quick. Yep, you're going fast. You're going fast. You're going fast, right, 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 right. Ah. Ready? Ha, ha, picture. Wide angle. Pond waterfall. Here we go. Really quick, baby. Ready? Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Guys, I can't. He has way too much energy. I tried. We're best friends. And now he's not gonna like me anymore. <laughs> he's getting pissed. Don't be pissed, man. It's your new home. Alright. Finishing off strong. Eh. Guys. This was a project and a half. Tim and I put in the work and it looks gorgeous, just like new. I'm gonna have so much one-on-one -on -one time with these fish now that this pond is finally built the way I want it to look like. Now we have our grow out pond over here. As you guys know, the koi fish are right up here. They're separated from the pocket so they're not gonna get torn up. We have our breeder ponds and our specific iridescent and hybrid catfish in that other pool pond on the other side of the house. This place is looking amazing, just like I wanted it. And I have one more pond to build, but it's gonna be really tough and really complicated. But stay tuned for the next episode. Next, we're going over to this lady's house and we're gonna get all the giant catfish, giant paku, everything in that pool, throwing in the back of my truck, then bringing it over here and going for a swim with the fish, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo! Get him off!